Yeah, Troy, today's shooting in South Jackson claimed the life of 22 year old Ayanna Dawson. Jackson police say she was shot in the chest while a fight was happening inside a home on Shady Lane Drive. Investigators scouring the scene of the second homicide on Shady Lane Drive in a little over a month's time span. The guy up there got killed and then this happened. Officers at the scene referenced July 18th, the day they found 63-year-old Earl Clark shot to death in a carport. Thursday, the Hines County Coroner loaded up 22-year-old Ayanna Dawson. At this point, what we do know is we do have a deceased female. It appears that there was some type of altercation inside the residence that led to this particular shooting. Eight months into the year, JPD Sergeant Roderick Holmes totals the number of homicides to 60. More than half of those victims are male. Some neighbors say the increasing number of victims has almost desensitized them to the shootings, but others say the pain always hits harder when they learn more about the particular victim. Anything happened to a person's life is a different, you know. But I never thought no, you'd have heard a lady. I really never thought that. Authorities have taken two individuals in for questioning who were inside the home during the shooting. The information that we have suggests that we may have a good lead on who the actual shooter is. Multiple neighbors tell us this area has not been riddled with crime until recently. Some of them say over the past few months it's been a different story at the top of the hill near Raymond Road. I think I'd do a little more about the crime if they would get into, you know, uh, check the people out to buying the guns, you know. And uh, I live here, and I don't have no problem, no gun. JPD Sergeant Roderick Holmes says as of now, no arrests have been made. Investigators are currently conducting interviews at the moment with uh, witnesses who were in the area and people who were inside the home. Live in Jackson, Jennifer Lott, 16 WAPT News.